My surroundings very much speak to who I am. I have so much in my life today and I'm so thankful for it. Sometimes I forget to just stop, take a minute and celebrate the details. At Imperfects, that's what we really try to focus on is the small minutes and the small moments in order to understand the bigger picture. My name is Michael Lynch. Um, I live in San Diego, California. I'm an artist, an entrepreneur, shaper, father, husband, and Imperfects is my life work. My life is an interesting one because my dad is very, very proud Irish. And I latched onto that heavily because it was the thing that I could communicate with my dad on. My mother is West Indies, Creole, West African. And that side of the family is intensely creative. I really identified with that side early on because I spent more time with my mother by proximity. And so I kind of had this best of both worlds, but it confused the hell out of me because I didn't know if I was black or white. I mean, I've been confused my entire fucking life. I, I think anyone who tells you that they haven't is just lying through their teeth. That confusion was very strange for me. It was very challenging because I was never black enough for the black family and I was never white enough for the white family. And it wasn't that they would tell me that I wasn't black enough or that I wasn't white enough. It's just what you feel. I've always been the same person. I've just been confused about how to be that person in certain cultural circles because I understand both cultural circles. I remember coming up in Palmdale thinking it felt heavy because everyone felt like they were just dealing with something, and my family included. You know, we didn't have money for the nice TV and the nice furniture and the nice clothes and all that stuff. That would come later, and I was so grateful when it did because I learned this level of humility, this thriftiness that my mom provided, living off of her $30,000 a year salary while my dad was starting his business. And now as a parent, I'm sure it was hard for my mom to afford certain things that probably broke her in some ways. Even though my family was struggling and even though we had bars <laughs> over our windows at one point, it was like such a creative habitat and, and I owe that to my mother. We moved to San Diego from Palmdale uh, right around five or six years old. That was a cultural shock. I then started dealing with all of the weird stuff that comes with new territory. 